Hello friends, welcome in OGuild, a knowledge and a skill sharing platform. In today's video of complete Python video lecture series, we will discuss about functions in Python. So let's start. These are the contents that we will discuss in today's lecture video. That is what is function in Python, built-in functions in which we will discuss about in keyboard input using input function. This is in uh, inbuilt function and we will discuss user defined functions in detail and finally we will discuss about scope of variables in function. So first of all we will understand what is function in Python. So a function is a block of code that's, that is block of code which is used to perform a particular task which is used to perform a particular task and work only if it is called function uh, don't show the output until it is called so uh, it is must we call the function so it uh, so it's a functionality so we can pass data known as parameters parameters into a function we will discuss this uh, parameters also a function can return data as a result so function can return data as a result so this is an example here how we declare and define function uh, we use def keyword for this def keyword to declare and define the function for example def then function name and inside the parenthesis we will define parameters and inside that uh, body of function body of function for example here you can understand def is a keyword and display is function name Here we have we we have not uh, pass any parameters, so now it is not showing any parameters. We will discuss how we will pass parameters. Then this function will print simple hello message, hello welcome in Python function. Now it uh, this is declaration, this is definition, declaration and definition of function. And now the last thing for a function work only if it is called. So uh, how we call the function? Simply write the function name. Simply write the function name. and uh, to call the function so here uh, we have just write display and that's why it is calling when it is calling then only it will work so it is uh, showing the output hello welcome in python uh, uh, in python function so this is about uh, what is function in python let's start some built-in function what is built-in function so built-in functions are provided by python itself we don't need to declare and define these functions they are already provided by python these are the some built-in functions like print input str int etc and many built-in functions we had already discussed in data type lecture video in this python video lecture series if still you did not see the this uh, data types uh, lecture uh, please go on that lecture video and uh, see the many functions inbuilt function that we had discussed there so uh, here we are discussing about keyboard input uh, that input function keyboard input using input function because still we have only direct input uh, in python script and in today lecture we will understand how we will uh, input data using keyboard so here uh, the input function already we have provided this input function is used and inside this input function we pass a string as a message so here like that please enter your name so it will appear in runtime uh, it will ask enter your name and by default input function return a string type string type so uh, first we have entered the name of student please enter your name and in second variable age we have input please enter your age since you know that we already discussed um, uh, input function return string type but we have to convert it into int this int also uh, is a built-in function this is also built-in function so uh, it will convert a string into integer so int convert a string into integer so uh, finally <coughs> we uh, 
you have just print hello uh, name uh, your age is uh, like that we have so uh, with the help of this input function we can enter the data uh, please enter your name as we have entered the name Ajay and age 20 so it is showing the output hello Ajay uh, your age is 20 so this is a built-in functions that is provided by uh, language uh, uh, Python language itself let's practically understand uh, how we how we can use this in PyCharm so let's start in PyCharm so first of all we will discuss about declare and define the function so we use def keyword then function name suppose we have used display this is the declaration definition function we have not given any parameter here now we are simply uh, writing print statement welcome hello welcome in function in Python so this is the body and uh, how we can use this function just uh, call this function by its name so the function name is display we just write display and when we will save this and execute this you can see output hello welcome in function in Python so this is the way to declare using def keyword then function name and inside that uh, parenthesis we can define parameters later we will understand how we will pass that parameters so this is the way of declare and define the function now we will understand uh, the use keyboard input using input function input built-in function built-in function so how it will work let's understand suppose we have want to enter the name name and we will use input please enter enter your name name and then age we will type cast into integer because by default input function return a string type so again enter your your age so it will enter the age and finally we will print name that is name print h h so let's check how it will control save and then we, when we will execute this it will ask you can see it is uh, it so please enter your name we will enter the name suppose ajay and it is now asking enter your age this message same as we have type here so again I enter the age 23 so you can see the output name equals to Ajay and age equal to 23 so this is the way input function is used to keyboard input so now you understand uh, the use of built-in functions so let's uh, understand next topic that is user defined functions so user defined function uh, what is user defined function a user defined function is defined using def keyword as we have already made the program def keyword in python so there are two steps first is creating a function the second step calling a function so let's understand how it works with this example practical example you can understand def uh, def is a keyword def keyword we have used to uh, declare the function and this add is the uh, add is function name function name 
and this a and a and b both these both are parameters we have passed two parameters a and b so uh, finally we are we are printing a addition of a and b equals to a plus b so uh, this is declared and definition of function and finally uh, in this line add uh, 2 comma 3 these 2 and 3 are arguments so what we will understand what is the argument what is parameter later so here first we have creating a function then second step we have calling the function so uh, the, this uh, this so the output addition of 2 and 3 equals to 5 this is the output it is showing so very simple way just write def keyword def keyword then function name like add then give parameter any number of parameter you can give then colon marks then body of the function then finally call the function so this is the way to declare and define the function in python uh, user defined function uh, basically so what is parameters and uh, what is argument passing in a ret uh, and return value pa pa parameter and argument passing and return value because we are already discussed in previous uh, previous slide that what we had discussed that uh, a function it can return data as a result so function can return some value so here we are discussing about how we return the value so here again you can see uh, def the function name a, a this is function name add is a function name and a comma b are parameters we have passed two parameters parameter which uh, we pass at design time which we pass at design time and uh, here this is the body uh, now you can see the uh, we have used return keyword return we have write a plus b so uh, addition of a plus b will return uh, from where from the place where it is called so here uh, now you can see and uh, we are calling the function this is the calling of function this is the calling of function and here 2 comma 3 2 and 3 this 2 and 3 these are called arguments these are called arguments so argument is passing uh, passing at runtime at runtime and the runtime that is environment when function is calling so 2 comma 3 2 and 3 are the arguments and a comma b are the parameter so this is the parameter parameter we, which we pass at design time and argument that we pass at, at the function calling time that is runtime so here you can uh, say the output uh, this a uh, this this is function call add fun add function is calling is in which we have passed two arguments and uh, it is a copy a, a in a it will co come two and b it will come three and two plus three return and this uh, return value now store in c so final output is sum equals to five you can see the output so let's uh, do practical implementation in pycharm so again we will move off pycharm so we will write our python script pass parameters and arguments and return value from function in python so first of all we will declare the function using def keyword def then function name here we have passed two argument a comma b then colon symbol and here we have just write return a plus b so uh, we don't need the semicolon in python if we write 
no problem but uh, python we don't need uh, write semicolon at the end of the statement so this is when we call how we are uh, now we will call the function that is we have taken the variable c here we are calling the function add and here we are passing 2 comma 3 that is uh, arguments here we have passed these parameters parameters a and b and here we have passed argument 2 comma 3 so when we will print this c it will show the output when we will save this program and when we will we will execute this you can see the output is 5 so this is the way we can pass the uh, parameters and arguments so you can uh, now you understand what is parameter what is uh, mm, uh, argument and how function return using, using return keyword so let's go on next thing that is arbitrary arguments what is arb, 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 arbitrary arguments uh, we will understand when you don't know exactly how many arguments you have to pass in function then we use asterisk you don't know how many parameters you have to pass or how many arguments you have passed uh, pass at runtime so you use asterisk before argument let's understand by the following example here i don't know how many uh, parameters in before example we have we had seen that we had passed two argument two parameters we have designed two parameters actually but if uh, the situation when we don't know actually how many parameters we have to design so on that cases we use spatial type Type arbitrary, arg, arbitrary arguments uh, uh, which we define by asterisk symbol here asterisk symbol and any parameters name so you, any variable parameters name we can take here so uh, when we are calling here we are calling the function we have passed three three argument uh, three names as you can see uh, in tuple format and here we have passed again four so uh, this is variable uh, variable type in nature uh, here we have passed three arguments here we have passed four arguments so first of time first time it is printing uh, ajay ravi amit and the second time it is printing ajay ravi ram ajay so uh, this is the use of arbitrary arguments when we don't know actually how many parameters we have to pass so let's understand this in practical demonstration in pycharm so that you will understand that is arguments so how we will use this we just write def then suppose display is the function name and here I don't know how many parameter I have to pass so I have just passed uh, I have taken just variable name so any variable name you could take I can take a b any a variable name suppose name I have taken so then colon symbol and here I will type for i in because these are the collection types so I have to use for loop as we have discussed in previous lecture video uh, that for loop is used to work on collection type then here I will just type print I and I want that it will come in same line so I will use this so when I will call this function simply display first time I will pass two argument uh, two arguments suppose I am passing two argument as a and then Ram so this time pass two argument again I will pass I will pass now three arguments uh, Ravi Rohan Amit so when I will call this when I will save this you can see the first time it will showing 
printing Rajay and Ram and second time Ravi, Rohan, Ram, Amit. So uh, in run time I will decide how many parameters, I, how, how many arguments I will pass. Here I have passed two arguments, here I have passed three arguments. So according to that it will manage and it must be uh, keep in your mind that a trick will be used. So this is the arbitrary um, arguments that is uh, any number of arguments we can pass using this asterisk uh, so now you understand next one is uh, keyword arguments so what is keyword argument keyword arguments are uh, pass argument with the uh, with the nature of key and value key equal to value syntax key equal to value we provide some key and its value that value uh, that key is match as a parameter so let's understand how it is uh, used so here we have def uh, this function name here we have passed three key name one name two name three and uh, when we are calling most important thing is here when we are calling name one I have given name one is a key and its value is Ajay name two is equal to Ravi uh, name two is a key and its value is Ravi name three is a key and its value is Amit so we have to give the same parameter name here also and same uh, uh, as a argument so name one name two name three according to the argument that we have passed so this is called keyword arguments if keyword argument in the form of key and uh, value pair so when we call this function uh, display function it will uh, 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 display Ajay Ravi and Amit so let's practically understand the keyword arguments so that you will understand keyword argument so you define again def then display here we have taken name one these are according to the key that we have given in calling part So print name one print name two print name three when we are calling this function display we will use key equal to value mechanism name that is first key name one equals to suppose I have given Ajay comma name two equals to I have given uh, Rohan suppose and name three I have given Ravan then I will save this and when I will call this you can see Ajay Rohan Raman so here uh, um, most important thing, thing is uh, key and parameters has same name if you are taking here something different it will generate error suppose I have taken here uh, name and I'm writing name here and control uh, when I will save this so it uh, it is generating error why because this name one uh, first key here name is a parameter as a uh, key is not matching so it will generating error so he I have to give same name as we have passed the uh, argument uh, key name so when I will uh, execute this then it will show the correct output so now you understand keyword arguments so let's um, next topic that we are discuss that is arbitrary keyword arguments same similarly the arbitrary arguments in which we don't know how many arguments uh, uh, arguments we have to pass uh, at runtime so we use asterisk keyword same way arbitrary keyword argument if we, when we don't know exactly how many keyword arguments keyword arguments we have arguments have to pass in function then we use double asterisk for keyword argument before the keyword argument so let's understand by the following example here uh, you can see here we are passing 
name uh, one uh, ajay name two ravi name three amit so uh, here you can see um, we have pass uh, actually we have pass uh, uh, the uh, this is the syntax double asterisk we will use and uh, this is the argument name uh, this is parameter name any name variable name you can take here so uh, when we call the function first time name one ajay uh, name two ravi and name three amit uh, so it will display uh, Ajay Ravi Amit and next time uh, next time it will uh, pass sorry actually this is not a right run here it is like that it after that you will write let that um, display if you pass the uh, four argument here instead of here you have passed three argument and when you call again display like that display and here you will pass name one that is Ram comma name to that is Ravi comma name 3 name 3 equals to that we will pass Amit comma name 4 equals to soup so when this uh, here we have passed four keyword arguments and first time we have passed three arguments so first of all first of all it will print Ajay Ravi Amit and second time when this this display function will call it will pass it will display Ram Ravi Amit so so uh, how it will ma match because it is know that when we when we are calling the function here we are passing keyword argument and these are the are, uh, arbitrary keyword arguments first time we are passing three keyword arguments and for a second time in display calling function we are passing four keyword arguments. so how it will know it is just know why double asterisk that is double asterisk is used as a keyword argument so let's practically do the demonstration so that you will understand so same function we will use here and we will instead of this we will type double asterisk then any a name we, I can take a name and first time uh, and we will use for loop for displaying the values for I in name colon print I I comma I want in same line so I will write and this and when I will first time calling this function name Ajay uh, that uh, Ajay name Rohan and this one and when for second time when I will call this function I will pass name one that is Amit so any number of keyword argument I can pass using arbitrary keyword arguments name to Rohit and name 3 Ravi name 4 Raman So when I will save this and when I will execute this here you can see the output uh, it is generating some error why uh, print for i in name we have taken right when we will save this when we will execute this uh, it is generating line in line 4 it is generating error why it is generating error let's because we have to write print statement because print indentation uh, is the most important part in Python so you have to write print inside this for loop okay so when you will save this and when you will execute this you can see output uh, first one uh, uh, first one name one name two name three and so he sorry we have to write print here and uh, we have to print like name of i why that's why 
it will display the proper output so when I will execute this you can see first time it will is printing Ajay then Rohan Raman and second time when four keyword argument is passing it is printing Amit Rohit Ravi and Raman so this is the way we can use keyword arguments uh, keywords arbitrary keywords arguments uh, so pass at runtime uh, we can decide how many keyword argument we can pass so now you can understand this so let's move on other part that is default parameters so what is the default parameters the default parameters that default value that we can pass here you can see this uh, def, uh, display function here we have defined default parameters name one ajay is 22 so when we call the function and we don't pass any argument by default name one value is ajay and age is default value is 22 so when we have here yeah, this is the body when I, we first time we are calling this function here we are passing the name one as siam and is 30 so uh, now the siam is override with ajay and age 30 is overwrite with 22 so it will first time it will pass sam name sam and age 32 and the second time you can see here when we call this function we haven't passed any argument here so by default it will take default parameter so it will value as a uh, default parameters name one ajay so it is printing a name ajay and age 22 so this is the way default parameter pass so let's understand pycharm so that you can understand uh, correctly so we will understand by this values so we will define def display suppose we have function name display and here I have given the default aj and h suppose i have given 23 then print name name and print h H. Now we are calling function. First time we will pass the argument, and second time we don't pass the argument. We will not pass argument. Display. So it will take default arguments. Display, and here I will pass name Ram, comma H. Twenty two. And second time, I will pass. No, will not will not pass any argument. So how it will work? So let's see when I will save it and this execute. So you can see here in first time we have passed uh, the arguments RAM and age 22. So it will it, it, it will overwrite with the default values. So first time it will printing uh, name RAM and age 22. And second time when we uh, I haven't passed any arguments here, so it is taking default. Uh, name Ajay and age 22 so now you understand how you can define default parameters uh, when you declare and define the function so uh, now you understand so next topic we will discuss scope of variables in Python so scope of variable in Python that is uh, how uh, where uh, the function uh, the variable can uh, work so uh, there are two types of uh, scope local scope work only inside work only inside a function and second one is global uh, scope work inside all functions it works inside all functions so how we can define suppose this is the example here we have here one variable a equals to its value is 10 this is a global variable and here we have defined two function display 1 and display 2 we have defined two function display 1 and display 2 and a similar variable a is equal to 5 this is the local variable this is a this is a local variable because in a local variable work inside only the particular function and in second function dev display 2 we want to use this global variable this a is a global 
global variable so I want to use this uh, this global variable inside function 2 so which keyword we have to use we have to use global keyword global keyword just before that variable name so uh, when I will print this a it will print 10 here no okay and after that when I assign a equals to 20 it will uh, change this global variable value into 20 when I will call the first time display one this will one one is calling it will so output uh, you can see uh, local a for function uh, local a when if, uh, when display one will call it will print local for function display one uh, that is value is 5 because local variable value is 5 you can see local variable uh, local scope variable value is 5 and when the function display 2 is called global a for function 2 is 10 before because we, uh, we are using a a is not a local here we are using global variable as a uh, inside the function 2 so it will print global of function 2 value is 10 again uh, I have written uh, given the value a is 20 inside display 2 function so when uh, finally when I will um, when after that uh, after calling display 1 and display 2 I have applied the expression a equals to a into 2 here a is now 20 why a 20 because now the value is a is 20 so 20 into 2 that is 40 that, that's why it is showing the output a equals to 40 so local variable works only local here you can say local variable work only this function display one and global variable is work here also here also and outside all function also so global scope work on site all the functions so let's practically understand uh, implement this so that you will understand perfectly so we will do it so local and global scope in of variable in function so suppose we have defined a equals to 10 this is global and inside that we have defined func first function display 1 and here I just uh, use a one local variable a equals to suppose 30 I have given this is local a and outside global a when I will print this print local a equals to its value that we'll see what it print and inside the uh, second function that is uh, display 2 we will define display 2 display def display 2 and in this function I want to use this global variable so global I will write global keyword that is global you can see the global and a so uh, when I will just print global a inside function 2 to equals to then I will print this a and after that I will assign some value that is suppose I have given value is now uh, 20 to a and first time I will call display 1 and after that I will call display 2 so that and after calling over this function I will apply a equals to a into suppose a 5 I will uh, a into 5 operation I have applied then print finally by value of print global a equals to 
comma a when i will save this and when i will execute this you can see uh, the effect according to global and local here a is 10 and a uh, 30 is a local variable not a global here in display one function we have defined a is 30 is a local variable when i will print local a when i will calling the first function you can see uh, we are here we are calling first display one to, uh, then it is printing local a is 30 so local a variable uh, is value is 30 so uh, uh, if you have defined global variable and local variable so inside a particular function uh, local variable will always get preference so a is 30 now is printing 30 now again when i have, I have uh, called display 2 so uh, when i will uh, printing uh, because here in function 2 i am using this a uh, global a uh, variable so a uh, global a inside function 2 giving the value 10 because the original value of global variable is a 10 and after uh, completing both the call when i have uh, uh, defined the expression a equals to a into 5 so now the value is uh, a is 20 so 25 is 100 so it is printing global a is 100 so now you understand what is the local and global scope local uh, scope work uh, party inside a particular function its scope only inside this function display one function a local a variable scope is only inside a function display one and global a scope is all the function and in inside all the uh, of, of inside complete program of python so that that is um, about uh, scope of variables in python now you understand so this is all about function in python uh, hope you will understand if you have any uh, doubt or problems you can write uh, us in videos comment sections so we will provide best help to you you can go through our learning platform ogil.com for uh, all videos and uh, our YouTube, YouTube channel ogil is also in YouTube you can search so thank you very much